So one of the interesting things about the way coaches are built these days is there's no one central brain. There's actually a network of wires and individual circuits and they all communicate together. And what I came to find out, which was pretty intriguing, is that there is a standard um, out there, including coaches like this one, that's called the RBC standard. And what that is, is basically the coach's communication network. And that enables the coach to be able to speak computer language or uh, digital language throughout different coaches, different varieties and different um, makers and make them compatible with each other. So when you have technical engineers like Dwayne, things work together a lot easier because guys like this work in the background. They don't like to be in front of the camera. He's got the genius brain to bring all these components together and designs little modules. And by doing that, you can actually tap in to the coach's communication network, which um, is really cool. But what's more important is it enables you to take a past generation coach in terms of technology and bring it up. And by that, I mean that you can add new things and new features such as Alexa devices. You can actually use your um, iPhone or mobile network or even a computer to tap into your coach and monitor some critical things such as shoreline power, uh, battery um, levels. Uh, you can even monitor your tank levels. Uh, you can turn on air conditioner, turn them off. And there's just a lot of features and functionality to doing that. And so um, I'm going to go through a few of these things for you and show you, uh, not in the absolute detail, but kind of give you an overview of how really neat and how functional this is. Now, most of you are familiar with the Crestron system that's built onto the iPad interface. And but the background of how that operates actually taps right into that same spider network. So through the Crestron app, it sends signals to the Crestron remote system. The Crestron remote system sends signals into the spider network. So all these products interface with each other. And what I came to find out is that the code for many of these products, like Alexa's products, actually is what's called open source, which allows programmers such as Dwayne to actually get in and design and roll their own, so to speak, interface and develop modules. The modules can be actually customized and created specific to do certain things. So in this case, Dwayne developed his very own module and built it into his own 3D printing box. And that box is super small, as you can see. This box then taps into the coach's network. It's a very simple process, but it's really appealing and intriguing because now that gives you the ability to use Alexa's voice commands when you have your own device. And it takes nothing more than a simple echo dot to be your microphone. It doesn't have to be elaborate, and those are very inexpensive. So that then gives you the ability on your iOS or Android app to custom tailor all these devices with routines and um, even automated schedules. And so there's a couple things I'd like to show you that can be very useful. Okay, so you're saying, I don't need all that technical information. I just want to know, what good will it do me? How does it work? What can I use it for? Let me just show you a couple real basic things that are pretty useful. And I'm going to stand by this silver leaf and spider panel to let you know. Now what you're going to be looking at is the controls here are on the spider network. And that's what Alexa is going to control. Nothing on the silver leaf itself. Alexa, light master off. Okay. All the lights came off. Alexa, light master on. Okay. So real quick and simple way 
to turn all the lights off or all the lights on. But you can also do individual areas. Alexa, galley lights off. Okay. The other useful thing is you're in the back of the coach and you realize you're going to take a shower. You've forgotten to turn on your Aquahot. So, Alexa, Aquahot diesel on. Okay. Now, you got to admit, there are times when you don't want to walk up to the control panel to turn on the Aquahot. Every single one of these is considered a switch. And so you can turn that switch on or off. So you've turned in for the night and you're in bed. And in this particular coach, there is no door lock by the bed. But with Alexa, guess what? Alexa, door lock on. Okay. Notice my doors are locked. Another one, how about Alexa, bay lock on. Okay. There are a lot of really useful things and it's just not laziness, it's, it's utilitarian. Now there's the ability in Alexa's app to create what's called routines. So when you get up in the morning and all your shades are drawn, how about this one? Alexa, good morning. Lights come on, shades go up. Not bad. If you want even more light, Alexa, light master on. Okay. Now you got a lot of light. So I have a routine in which I've combined a lot of different things. I've turned on the valance lights, I've turned on the aisle lights. I want the lights turned down and I want the shades drawn and I want the music turned off and I want the bay doors to be locked and I want the front door to be locked. Well, if you've developed a routine yourself, that's great. You can just go through all the panels and, you know, get up and walk around and, but you get the tech update and it gets to be this simple. Alexa, good night. Shades start coming down. Allows you to walk around and check things. I like to come up here and just help the shade find its little spot there. No problem at all. 20 seconds later, of course, the music has already turned off. And then the lights go out, the aisle lights come on, and then you're ready to go to bed. For those of us who want more functionality, to have things like an alarm in the bedroom, you've always got choices such as this Amazon show. I can be in the back and say things like, Alexa, shower fan on. And now your shower fan goes on. The technology's there and why not use it? It's just, it's not just fun, at least for me, but it's useful when you get used to it and you get past the, a little bit of the, uh, the uncomfortability factor. It's, um, I found it already. I haven't had it put in that long and I've already found it incredibly useful. As you can see, there's not too many limitations. Dwayne has built in, um, well, there's just a little over 30 commands that tap into this coach. Each device is considered a light. So it's just a matter of assigning that number to a name, in which case we've got you know, perhaps 30 plus different names on here, most of which mimic the spider control panel or other features of the coach. And it's just a matter of um, announcing that name and telling it to turn on and turn off. The only oddball would be Alexa, all shades off. In the shades world, because it's considered a, an on or off switch, you have to tell the shades to be on, which are drawn, or off, which are up. You know, you can build in your own routines from good morning to good night, or uh, make it dark, or I wanna watch a movie. So it's pretty cool, pretty exciting. Um, I'm looking forward to working more with um, Dwayne to kind of shape this package. Uh, I think it provides a lot of functionality for those who need to refresh their coaches. It's not necessarily to replace a brand new coach and all of its technical features, but it helps to keep 
the technology portion of the aging coaches functional. It's technology that is constantly evolving, but this is a great way to um, make your coach keep functioning. So with that, um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, as much as I do, and I know Dwayne is really thrilled to do this, and it's of course a lot of fun for me to integrate technology into our daily lives and actually make it functional, less complicated, and you know, very useful for our day-to-day -day activities. And what's more is I think it increases value to a, uh, a coach such as this when all things work and all things are updated and fresh and certainly contemporary. A lot of people are using Alexa for things now. So it makes total sense to me. All right. Okay. Enjoy and safe travels to all.